a great example of how mathematical biology can contribute to the scientific world. You know, I work particularly on infectious disease ecology, and for years we've we've relied on molecular virological approaches to explain what's going on with a pathogen like SARS. Well, by using a mathematical approach and creating models of disease emergence, we can actually begin to predict what's going to happen with those pathogens. And this is something that we couldn't have done just relying on the traditional biomedical approaches. It's really a fusion of the mathematics that comes from ecology into biology into infectious disease research that allows us to truly understand a pathogen in an ecosystem uh, with us as the major people at risk. I've been working on the emergence of infectious diseases and one of the holy grail questions to this whole problem is what causes diseases to emerge? Can we actually predict the next SARS or HIV? Now I believe we can. I believe that if we bring together what's known about infectious disease biology with what we know about ecology and fuse the two, we can actually begin to predict the next significant pandemic outbreak. And what we've been doing is um, trying to bring together large global data sets of things that cause diseases to emerge, like demography, environmental change, um, climate change, and then see what that does to the dynamics of infectious disease in a population, how that drives a risk in humans. So we end up with this unique position of being able to draw a, a global map of the risk of the next HIV or SARS, something that we really could have done with over the last few decades and now we finally have. Well, I think what we're seeing now is an increasing understanding and ability to deal with complexity. And what you have in a biological system is, is a lot of components working together that ultimately include us and by bringing a mathematical approach and creating models and running simulations, we can kind of recreate those systems on a computer screen and say what would happen if, and begin to sort of project out to the future what possible scenarios might end up affecting us related to biological systems. So it's absolutely critical to understanding our role in the environment.